Okay everyone, welcome to another video here on Fox Taxi. In this one, let's talk about the photos which are seemingly undeletable on your iPhone. What can you do about it or how does it actually work? Let me explain all of this in today's video. If you can't delete some photos, it's likely that you're dealing with photos stored in iCloud. These photos might look like they're on your iPhone, but they're actually synced from iCloud. When iCloud Photo Library is enabled, your photos are stored in the cloud and synced across all your devices. This makes it seem like you can't delete them because they're not just local files. To address this, the first step is to manage your iCloud settings. Go to your iPhone settings and tap on your name at the top of the screen. This will take you to your Apple ID settings. Next, click on iCloud and then Photos. Here you'll find an option to disable syncing for photos. By turning off iCloud Photo Library, You'll ensure that only these photos stored locally on your device are visible and manageable. This makes it much easier to delete photos directly from your iPhone. Disabling iCloud Photo Library doesn't delete your photos from iCloud itself. It simply stops syncing them to your iPhone. This means you can still access your photos on other devices or by logging into iCloud. If you need to delete photos permanently from iCloud, you can do so by visiting the iCloud website through Safari. Open Safari and go to iCloud.com, log in with your Apple ID, and navigate to the Photos section. Here you'll see all the photos stored in your iCloud. You can select the photos you want to delete and remove them from your iCloud storage. This way, they won't show up on any of your devices anymore. By following these steps, you can easily manage and delete photos on your iPhone without the hassle of dealing with undeletable iCloud photos. This method ensures that you have full control over your local storage and can keep your photo library organized. Thank you for watching this tutorial on Fox Taxi. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel for more tech tutorials and updates. Feel free to leave any questions or comments down below. See you guys later.